go. Try number two. We did save this. We do get to go with color rushes now. That. We get to restart. Jesus, the alternates are awful. Holy shit. Two thousand ten jerseys are ugly as shit too. Which color rush? The greens for sure. Alright. Let's do it. Let's try this again. Forget everything you witnessed in the last ten minutes. Forget that interception that Tim threw. Forget the two field goals, it's a new day. Adam Gase is our head coach. Yikes. Forget our run game picking up negative one yards on four carries. Forget all of it. New ball game here in Cotterville. We still defer the kickoff. Here we go again. Defense will start us off. Packers will bring it out and they go down at the 21 yard line. Nice kickoff coverage by the Big Cotter special teams unit. Jordan Love will take over. At their own 21 yard line. 69 awareness, nice. Too nice for you when you're throwing three picks to the Cotter defense. First play from scrimmage for the Packers. Turnover here on this first drive would be awesome. They will hand it off, and down goes Aaron Jones for a loss of two. Aaron Brady Jones Lang blew it up. Actually, no, that's Jordan Elliott who blew it up. The, the running back slash kicker slash middle linebacker comes to play on the first drive. Three position star for the Big Cotters. And he read that like a book. Second and 12 for Green Bay. Love to throw, and it hits the shoulder of his receiver who keeps on running. What a retard. Dude has to have autism. Maybe he doesn't even has autism. I don't know, but he looked like it there. Third and 12. Back to throw. It's caught, but Jones will get brought down by Max Marcus for a gain of just seven, and the Packers will punt. It's a three and out. I thought Aaron Jones had an angle there to get the first down with his speed, but Marcus caught up to him, and Tawari's going to have a chance to return this. What the hell was that juke move? You had him beat, and then you started running sideways. Decent return anyway. Cotters will start with decent field position at the 40-yard line. And here's Tim Wallace. He has not yet thrown an interception as a big Cotter because that didn't happen. This is his first chance. Let's see if the run game has some more success. As it looks like they're lined up to run here on first down. Is it Rourke again? We'll see. Handoff gains one yard. It's Terry this time with the first rush of the ball game. Second and nine. Darius Smith brings him down. Wallace will make his first pass attempt, and this one goes much better as it's complete to Andrew Tyson for a seven-yard game, but it does bring up a third down and two. Let's see what the Cotters do here. They will hand it off, and Terry right around the line. They will give him the first down. First down, big Cotters. Kennedy was hyped about it. Is already a much better drive than last time that ended in an interception on third down. Big Cotters are into Packer territory with a fresh set of downs. Action, Wallace deep downfield and it is intercepted. 
It took him a, call, a little longer to throw a pick this time, but he does it again. Packers will take over. And that was just an awful throw decision. He had nobody open there. Threw it into triple coverage. And it was tipped up by Alexander and picked off by Amos. Just a horrendous decision by Wallace there. He had no one there. I, I, he kind of did for a second, but that's just such a risky throw to make. You're throwing a jump ball against Jair Alexander there. Of course, it's going to get tipped up. First down for Jordan Love in the Packer offense. As Aaron Jones has a little bit of a hole, and he also runs sideways with room to run. What a game you made, Madden. Running backs running sideways with an open hole. Second and four, we're not going to complain. Jones runs right into the tacklers with another hole. Madden is quite the game. Tip your cap to EA for the product they made. As the Cotters bring him down at the line of scrimmage. He's doing. Third and four, love to throw. He's got a guy, it's a first down. Love's pass. Marcus finally brings him down, but gave him too much space. David and Joku didn't get hurt this time. Packers get a fresh set of downs. They're driving. Love will throw, and Love will complete. Is that Devontae Adams? I think it is. Five-yard gain. That is not Devontae Adams. Devontae Adams must be on a different team. No, he's still there. He just didn't get that one. My fault. Ben Keefe with the tackle. Is that a tackle for loss? Yes, it is. One yard loss for the Packers. It'll bring up third and six. A loss of two yards. And it's third down. Big third down for this defense. Love will throw. He will nearly throw a pick as, boy, that was a big-time hit in the air. Tipped up there. Incomplete. Big-time stop by the Cotter defense. It'll be a 46-yard attempt, and it is good. Packers take a 3-0 lead just like the first go-around. Cotter offense will have to respond. Great job by the defense once again, though. One little hiccup on the completion to Njoku. But other than that, a nice start for the big Connor D. Offense will get a chance to redeem themselves as Tawari catches at the 5. His return will get past the 25 down to the 27. Nice return for Kieran Tawari, a 22-yarder. Let's see if Wallace can actually complete a pass this time. Just a horrendous pick on the first drive. And Terry will run the football, and he'll pick up a couple. Four-yard gain, best run of the two, the two go-rounds for the big Cotter run game. And it's second and six. That ball handed off, and he runs right into the defense. And Andrew Tyson somehow got hurt, even though he wasn't in the play. Two-yard gain. For Terry there, third and four coming. Tyson down to one knee, and he will leave the game holding his wrist, even though he was holding his knee on the field. And it'll probably end up being a neck injury when we check it after the game, because Madden is quite the game. Third and four, big third down. Let's convert this one. Wallace throws flag down. It's incomplete. This one looks like holding the knee, and it's once again roughing the passer. I didn't even think he got hit. But we will not complain. This is First down, Big Cotters. Anthony Brown is a retard. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Packers are such a thug organization. That's their second roughing the passer in our two games so far. Fresh shut it down for the Cotters, and there is a hole, and somehow he got held up by number 59. I thought Terry had room to run. Still picks up five. A gain of five brings up second and five. The lefty steps the back and he holds it five. way too long. He takes about a 20 fucking yard sack. Tim Wallace is a joke of a football player. How are you going to take a 14 yard sack there? 
A loss of 13 yards. Keep backing up more, why don't you, without throwing the football. Austin Cotter can't believe it on the bench. He is just cannot believe how shitty his QB looks so far. Third and 19 after the first down run by Terry now. Wallace will need to make up for it with a big damn throw here. Let's see if they can get Holvey involved. He'll fire, he'll complete, but he had a guy coming right up in his grill on the blitz. Mike Farmer with his first catch, Cotters will come. Adam Gase cannot believe it. Well, maybe you're a piece of shit, that's why. Terry with a decent punt. If it stays, and it will, what a punt by Terry. As Austin Cotter is hurt on the special teams play, dude is made of legit shards of glass. Good punt coverage by Rick Rourke as well. Packers will start backed up at their own three-yard line. Hell of a punt by Terry, his first of the year, and hopefully one of very few punts. Although with this offense, I don't know. Lovell handed off, blow that up. They do. Jordan Elliott, have yourself a first quarter of the season as he blows up that run play, second and 10. Safety would be great. Instead, they'll hold him to a one-yard gain. Keith there with the tackle. They didn't even give him a yard there. And this will probably be the final play of the first unless it's an incomplete pass, a third and 10. They'll hand it off again, and he is going nowhere. Two-yard gain. Rourke and Keith were both there in the tackle. Cotters will have great field position coming into the second quarter. Let's see if the offense can wake up as the Packers take a 3-0 lead into the second quarter. Unless they decide to punt it for whatever reason with a second left on the clock, they will do that for whatever reason. And it is a shit punt. Tawari will actually have a return here, and the Cotters will start at the 39-yard line. If you mess this up, make some fucking offensive changes, because that would be a joke. Cotters will have a golden opportunity to put some points up as we come back for the second quarter. As Wallace has some confidence in himself heading into this third drive of the game. Get the damn run game going, too. 92 overall running back, good offensive line. No excuse to get one yard. Over the middle, Tawari is there. And there's your first big play for the Cotter offense there inside the 20. It is a 21-yard completion, Wallace to Tawari. First and 10 at the 18-yard line. Where the fuck is Sam Holvey on offense? Trips left for the Cotters here. They'll snap. And complete, there is Sam Holvey's first completion. It's only four yards, the though. Six yards, excuse me. Complete to number second 33. and four. A six yard Cotter offense finding their rhythm here. They'll the hand it off, line. and the run game once again fucks up the drive as Terry gets no yards on that one third and four. The tackle made at the 12 yard line. How about a touchdown, Cotters? Little screen. And Terry is inside the five-yard line. Beautifully executed play for the First Cotters. And First and goal for the three line. now. Quick throw and a touchdown for the big Cotters. Touchdown. Wallace to Tawari for the second time on the drive as he salutes the crowd. And the Cotter offense has their first score of the season. A three-yard touchdown for Kieran Tawari who has had a great start to this football game. Wide open on the slant. Packers didn't even cover him. Nice defense, you bozos. Tim Wallace did indeed got this drive. As the extra point from Elliott is automatic. I don't believe in jinxes because it is automatic. 7-3. Nice work by the Cotter offense. And their loaded 93 overall defense now has a lead to work with. The return does not get back to the 25. Number 32, Tim Wallace changed his number real quick after that, after that touchdown drive and made a tackle on special teams. What a beast. 
Who doesn't take any plays off for this team? Packer offense will set up in five wide on first down here. Level throw, no pressure from the Cotter pass rush in. That is barely a gain at all. Three yard gain on the completion by Love. Second and seven. They will hand it to Jones. Blown up. Theo Coley blows it up. No gain for the Packers there. It's third and seven. Cotter defense can force another three and out. Ring that siren here in Cotter, though. Third and seven. Love looks to fire, and he'll complete, and it is very close. I don't know if they're going to spot him with a first. They won't. Coley again with the tackle, and I think they'll probably punt it as he was an inch short. Big-time tackle there. I thought he for sure had the first down. Theo Coley who did not tackle him, that was Connor Rourke, although he pushed him backwards. They just showed him celebrating, so I assumed he tackled. Packers will punt it. Cotter offense will regain possession here as Tawari will return this one. He's got some space to work with. He'll get it close to the 35. Some wrestling going on there. And let's hand this football back to Wallace and Co. Back to pass on first down. Get rid of it. He does. It is intercepted by Jair Alexander. He's got some space, and he will get it down to the 12-yard line. you got to be shitting me, Tim Wallace. Just an awful line. throw. I mean, just awful. I picked that off if I'm playing the <laughs> Packers, first and 10 from the 12 now on Wallace's second pick. Love will throw. He will complete in a touchdown. Packers retake the lead. And it took him one play. Harris, the recipient. And that's just brutal. Momentum regained. Good field position for the Cotter offense. Wallace throws a pick. Packers score next play as number 31 Joel Salen could not quite make the tackle to keep the short Sam extra point for, for whoever the, the fuck this kicker is is good and the his Cotter offense now has good. some work to do as Wallace is talking to his o line and hopefully Taylor. telling him sorry guys I suck ass you guys are doing your job. I'm fucking not. Sam Sloman set to kick off. Kick barely in the end zone. It'll be brought out by Tawari and a pretty good return as he gets that one down to the 29 yard line. He's had a nice day so the far. The ball. Setting up his offense. Picks. It is time to make something happen, Wallace. Let's go. He scored on the really short field position. That doesn't really move me, I gotta say. There's a little screen pass there to Farmer. Six yard gain. And a little pitch to Terry, and Terry has some space and then runs into two defenders and doesn't get the first down. You had the edge, and instead you ran right into the defender. Nice game you got there, Madden. Third and one, they'll hand it and they'll get the first. Terry bulldozes his way to the 43 yard line. He is up to 23 yards on eight carries. Not exactly ideal day, but he's, he's gaining some yards now. Not going backward. First down. Wallace to throw. <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding. Alexander with a pick six, 17 7 Packers. Third interception of the Touchdown. fucking half for Wallace. That one was more, that was worse than the fucking last one, which is one of the worst throws I've ever seen. That one topped it. Oh, 
That one popped it. I mean, that is no chance of ever getting to Farmer's hands. The best corner in football is lurking there. Of course he's going to run that back. Sam Sloman. 17-7 Packers. This is just unfucking believable 97 overall to throw three the picks in your first good. half of football in the season. Makes the score, Packers, Plenty of game 17. left, though, but, I mean, Jesus Jeff Christ, he might have to hand the reins to Joel Salen, the backup Sam here soon. I've seen off. enough of this Wallace piece of shit. Touchback. Let's see what you got this time. Tim Wallace has thrown some absolute dimes to the other team today, as you can see in those highlights. And if this drive doesn't go well, Joel Salen's getting the football offensively. Terry with a couple yards there. Run game's not really giving the passing game any help. That's no excuse at all for those horrendous throws. But come on, run game. Let's get going here. Ovi in motion, they fake it to him, hand it off again, and the run game picks up another two-yard gain. I mean, come on, guys. Third and five, you're not putting your offense in position here. Legacy throw here from Wallace coming as he's taking a seat on the bench if it's not completed. It is completed, and a first down to Kieran Tawari. Nice work. That'll take us to the two-minute warning of the first half, one that has not been very good for the Cotters. Fresh set of downs here, though. First and ten. Wallace back to throw. He's got so much time, he refuses to throw. That was nearly picked. Another awful, awful throw. A lot of corners picked that one. And he's lucky it got batted down. Second and ten. Wallace. A lot of time. There's a very good throw finally. Mike Farmer gets involved. As the Cotters will go no huddle here. In Packer territory. Wallace needs to make something happen. Another completion. That one will go about eight yards. The pass. Nine, down to the 31. Wallace can start to redeem himself if he can punch it in here for six. Minute to play, Wallace to Farmer, first down. Connors will burn their first time out of the half with just under a minute to go. First and 10 from the 27. Wallace completes. It's Holvey who got hit hard, but he held on to it. Cotters will call their second time out of the half. Say needed that one more time, please. Thanks. Seven yard gain there. Second and three. That is dropped. Great throw, and Tawari just dropped it. Fit it into a tight window. There's no excuse for that drop. Third and three. Huge play here. Really, really want six and not three right now. Wallace to throw. He will complete it to Farmer. No, he dropped it. Fuck off, Mike Farmer. That was another really nice throw. And Farmer can't hang on through the contact. You got to be fucking kidding. Wallace looked really good on that drive other than the dangerous one that got batted down. But he can't convert because his receivers don't help him out. 37-yard attempt from Elliott with 45 seconds. That is good. So the Cotters do cut it to one possession. Defense still needs to get a stop here. Makes the score. Packers 17. Jets 10. Wallace showed some improvement on that drive, though. His receivers really fucked him over. Tawari and Farmer with costly drops that could have gotten the Cotters into the end zone. It has not been a good half for the big Cotter passing game. 
in general as that is an unacceptable return there with 40 seconds left as he gets it to the 33. Special teams unit wake the fuck up. Decent amount of time here, but this secondary is locked down. Love will check it down, and fucking Aaron Jones has room to run, picks up 13. Can anything go right for this team here in the first half? 31 seconds, Packers already near midfield. Love will throw again. No pressure, finally some pressure comes and he is brought down, Nate Reed with his first sack of the year and it is a huge one, 14 yard loss. And the Packers may let this one run out now into the half. As Reed brings Love down, big time sack right there. And let's see if the Packers even elect to snap it again. Three, two, one, they will, they'll run it. And he's brought down. And that will end the first half here from Cottersville. Cotters do not play well at all. Packers come in head to halftime up 17-10. Cotter offense had a couple good drives, but just some atrocious throws by Wallace, who had three picks in the first half. Defense came to play. They really did. The only touchdown... The only two touchdowns scored by the Packers. One, they got 12, uh, 12 yards of field to work with, and the other was a pick six. Other than that, defense has been really solid. As we are the first game of the week, so we do not give a fuck about the games around the league because none of them have happened yet. So take us back to the third quarter, please. <laughs> Put me at QB. Well, now that you sent a picture, uh, a gif of Lamicky, you're not getting, you're not getting in at QB. What the fuck was that throw? Like, I can't even believe that a 97 overall would make that throw. I mean, Alexander was right there, man. I mean, a blind guy could see that. Short-term memory, new half a ball. I like the mentality. Let's go. Cotter offense will start here in the third quarter. Touchdown ties this football game. And Tawari has had some nice returns today. Once again, gets him a couple extra yards of field position to the 27. Let's tie it up. Wallace trots back out there. Cotter's lead in total yards, 122 to 59. I mean, if it wasn't for those shit picks, as Terry going nowhere, this one game is the ball a joke, man. Put work in it, running back. Maybe he'll actually like a three -yard break up a lead, break a second and seven. Terry looks like a joke. Second and seven. He'll check it down to Terry, and Terry that time has some space down the sideline. As he'll go out of bounds with a first down. Wallace is 13 to 20 with 116 yards. Surely three of those seven incompletions aren't picks. One of which was returned back for a touchdown. First down for the big Cotters. That one complete. Farmer wrapped up seven yard gain. Starting to find a rhythm in the passing game now. It would be nice if we could break a couple runs, too, to really set up that passing game. They'll hand it off. Could this be the time? Sorta. Terry with a decent run. Six-yard gain. Gets the first down into Packer territory. Good start to this drive. The Cotters will realign here. Wallace, complete on the check down to Terry. Six more yards. Complete to number 26. A seven yard pickup brings up second and three. They'll hand it off, there's a hole there. It closed quickly, but a first down. And this Cotter offense is really moving it down the field. Slowly but surely they're getting there. No big plays yet. Wallace will drop back. He's got time. He'll get rid of it. 
Pocket closed quickly. Second and ten. If I see one more needed that, we're going to put Joel in at QB. We'll check that one down. Rick Rourke into the game at running back, and he goes nowhere. Two-yard game, third and eight. A two-yard pickup makes it third and eight. Pick this up. Come on. Third and eight. Plenty of space for Rick Rourke over the middle of the field. First and ten back-to-back -back catches for Rourke out of the backfield. And another first down. And there is some space. Why are you running in zigzags? You had a wide open hole to run. Stop running sideways. Fix your fucking game, EA. That could have been a 20 yard run instead of seven, second and three. Handoff, Holvey first down. Little trickery in this big Cotter offense now. They're feeling themselves as they are inside the 15. Wallace to throw, and he'll check down once again, and Terry nearly dropped that. He might have dropped it. He caught it, and he lost four. He would have been better off dropping it. Let's actually throw the football downfield, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's like the fourth straight completion to a running back. Let's go. Your receivers are on the team. I don't even know what to say, man. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to say at this point about this run game. Third and 18, as all the good vibes from this cutter drive evaporate with a shit decision by Wallace and an absolute shit offensive line job. Third and 18, and Wallace, you gotta be fucking kidding me that you just took a 13-yard sack. And now made it a 52-yard field goal for Elliott. I mean, that isn't fucking real. You were actually starting to look good. Let's see if Elliott can bail out his QB with a 52-yarder here. But Jesus, I thought that was going to be a touchdown drive. Instead, it's 4th and 31. Elliott's kick is good. He is a stud. 17-13 ball game. Kickoff is a touchback. Packers will start from the 25. If I see needed that one more time, I'm just going to bench your players. I can't, I'm, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. Troy Williams Aaron Jones tackles Aaron carrier. Jones for a loss. Down behind the line of second and 11. It's a loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11. At the 24 Looks yard like Elliott will play middle linebacker going forward. Quick flag thrown there on the quick pass. Is that going to be a hold? Sure is. Offense. No! Second and 21 coming for the Packers. Love, plenty of time to throw, refuses to get rid of it, finally completes to his tight end, and that is going absolutely nowhere. Third and 21. If this gets completed, we might have to end the franchise. It does, but it's not going to be nearly enough. Packers will punt. Cotter offense will have a chance to actually take the lead in this putrid performance on this next drive. And this is the absolute last draw for Tim Wallace. If he doesn't come to play on this drive, Joel Salen will take us the rest of the way.
booming punt. Not much of a return from Tawari. 37-yard line is where the Cotter offense will get things started. You can say needed that twice during the entire drive. You get two needed that's the whole drive. Wallace to throw. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking kill myself. Pick six again. Packers go up by eleven. Touchdown, Green Bay. We will have a new QB for this Cotterville offense. I mean it that might be the worst throw of the four. That one might have topped the last two. I mean, he was standing right in front of your receiver. You threw the ball to him there. I mean, did he think he was wearing a green jersey? I mean, what the fuck is that? You can only laugh it off. Good. I mean, that is unbelievable. Makes the score. Packers 24. Jets 13. 24-13 Packers. As Tim Wallace has given up more points than the Big Cotter defense. Two pick sixes, four total picks. Gotta wait till this kickoff is over to change the depth chart. How do I exit? What the fuck? How do I exit? How do I exit the super sim? Are you kidding me? Tim Wallace is back out there. This game is such a joke, dude. He'll hand it to Terry. He's going nowhere, of course. How do I exit the damn super sim? Fuck! Maybe when the third quarter ends? I don't know. He was brought down at the 26. Guess we're walking all this What a joke of a game, man. I can't even get back to the damn Super Sim. Oh my god, game. Unbelievable, bro. And a sack, and he fumbled, but they're not going to call the fumble for some reason. Third and 12. I mean, this is this is tough to watch right now. This is your preseason Super Bowl favorite that looks like they're playing in fucking St. Joseph Ogden high school football. Joel will start next week. I can't take him out now for whatever reason. Need a big one here. Time running out. Third and 12. Tawari fumbles. Packers get it. I mean, I did. What, what can I even say at this point? Fumble on the play. Recovered by Green Bay. Packers take over at the 28th. Fifth big Cotter turnover. Hold on to the goddamn football. Why I, I don't why can't I pause the goddamn game? Frustrating week one here in Cotterville on all fronts. Absolutely have to hold him to three here if you want any hope. Throw it towards the sideline. Dude falls over when he had the sideline to roam. We won't complain about a year's shit game. Second and seven. 
Love to throw. Here comes pressure, and he will not go down. How do you not bring him down? Is that a completion? Thank God he was out of bounds. He nearly just broke a sure sack and threw a touchdown. If he did that, I was ending the stream and breaking my TV. Thank God his foot was out of bounds. Third and seven. Need this one. Pressure comes. Blown up. Got it off, but a loss. As Connor Rourke tackles him. Owen Van S brought the pressure. And there's still hope here in Cotterville despite this horrendous performance. We'll have to settle for three. And it won't be a gimme either, 47 yarder. How many times is it gonna say Ben Keith is typing without actually sending a message? Did he miss that? It snuck in off the post, you're shitting me. It hit the post and went in, you gotta be fucking around with me. Sam Sloman set to kick off. Yay, I'm so glad Tim Wallace is heading back out there. So glad. Maybe just take a knee there, Tawari. I knew you weren't getting that to the 25. The Jets is this take the over team? at 10. Yeah. At their own 24 is yard line. On the team? Tim Wallace is infecting the whole team with stupidity. going to be passing the rest of the way. You're not running the football. Wallace gets to fire the ball, and he throws a dime to a wide-open Tawari. I mean, it wasn't really hard to hit him there. But a nice throw right in stride. Kieran Tawari having a nice day receiving, although he did fumble last possession. First down, Cotters. I mean, I, I, I don't even want to talk about it. For number Am I going to go to team select? If I call a timeout, will it work? It's a good point. Although, I don't know if I want to burn our timeouts because we might actually need those. I would try it if we weren't actually trying to come back and win. Second and ten. Throw is complete. Rourke rolls over the defender. I think he got the first down. He sure did. First down Cotters in Packer territory. Shut the fuck up, Todd. Wallace to pass. Plenty of time. Please throw the ball. Farmer goes down. Gain of three. Gotta have bigger chunk plays than that with five minutes to play. That one complete. First down. That's Kieran Tawari again, his seventh catch. Down the field, let's head towards the end zone. First and 10 at the 31 yard line. Wallace, get rid of the ball. Thank you for throwing the football away. Second and 10. Brings up second and 10. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking shoot Austin Cotter in the head if he talks about his packs anymore. Oh my god. Tim Wallace just threw the ball to his offensive line in on second and 10. Incomplete. Nearly intercepted. Third down I can't watch camp. this faggot anymore. Third down, wide open, touchdown, Cotters. Touchdown. Doesn't get more open than that. You can't even credit Wallace there. I mean, nobody guarded Theo Coley. And it is a one-score game in Cotterville. Don't look now. But this one's not over. Somehow Theo Coley got just free. Absolutely no one in his vicinity there for the touchdown. And Wallace, to his slight credit, did hit him. The kicker on for the point after. I will allow the needed that after that. Because we did in fact need that. As Elliott's extra point goes. This one's not over. Eight play 76 yard drive, Wallace. A couple nice completions. And the defense will step back out on the field. As they've done a really nice job today despite Wallace's dog shit. D does it say Ben Keefe is typing for anyone else or is that just glitching on my phone? I'm pretty sure it's a glitch on there. 
First and ten for the pack from the 26. How about a three and out? Hand off. Blown up. Have yourself a ball game. Owen Van Ness. He was brought down at the a couple of tackles and a big time pressure Lugina last drive. Brings Love the throw. That nine. is incomplete. Broken up by Joel Salen. And it's third and nine. For David Humongous play in the game here. Wonder if the Packers will try to run clock or throw. They are going to throw. Pressure comes and they will pick up the first down. Aaron Jones. 11 yard game. That is just absolutely brutal. First down. First down for the Packers. And now the Cotters will have to start thinking about those timeouts. Hand off to Jones. Nice play. Brady Lang got in there. As did Nate Reed. Second and eight. They'll hand it again. Jones broke one tackle. Drilled from behind by Rydell there for the second down tackle. Third and three. Huge play. No timeouts have been burned. Packers likely to go back to the run game. Potters need to stuff it. Hand off, and he picks it up. Aaron Jones, the ball carrier. Cotter defense has played really well today, but when they've needed him most, two big third down conversions, and now the timeouts are going to have to come off the board. And our last chance to stop him here, as that'll take us to the two minute warning. Cotters will take all three of their timeouts into the final two minutes. They got one more shot. First and ten, it's going to be three runs. Here's number one, and it is a decent game. Bling brings him down. Probably only about three yards. Maybe they gave him four. They did give him four. Fuck off, refs. Second and six. Back to Jones. Big tackle. Bling was there. So was Nate Reed. And this is the football game. Third and four from the 44. This is your football game here in week one. Adams in motion, handoff to Jones around the edge. He is going nowhere. Loss of a yard for Aaron Jones. Who was that that got off their block to make the tackle? Whoever that was, phenomenal job. It looks like Kieran Tawari. And the Packers will punt. Cotters will have a chance. And that bounces into the end zone. Out to the 20 it goes. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Tim Wallace can redeem himself if he can lead a drive right here. I will say that. Despite how horrendous he's played. If he brings this ball team down the field right now, he redeems himself as work breaks one tackle and gets brought down. Gain of five. Wallace, get rid of the ball, please. Get rid of the ball, please. Fuck you. Fuck you. How do you take a sack? Third and 17. That is dropped. But it was never really had a chance anyway, and this is your football game, fourth and 17 from the 13-yard line. Last chance for the Cotters. Wallace fires. It's intercepted. Fitting way to end this one. His fifth pick thrown to this football game. There will be a new Big Cotter starting quarterback in week two. It will not be this absolute piece of human shit, Tim Wallace. He threw five interceptions in week one as a 97 overall. Packers will come into Cotterville and steal week one's ballgame. Love takes a knee. Cotter's their own one. And there's one reason that that's the case. And one reason only. Number 12. 
There's no other reason. Defense came to play today, held the Packers to field goals on countless occasions, gave their offense a chance late in the game. Kieran Tawari had a nice day receiving the ball. Holvey made some plays. Farmer made some plays. The run game was ass, but I mean, you're not instilling much confidence in your offense when your QB throws five fucking picks. We will play week two because we need a win to end our night. I mean, Jesus. Yeah, look back on the field in disgust, you piece of fuck. What a shit bag. Let's take a look at some stats. Wallace, 25 at 39, 226 yards, two touchdowns. Good stat line, right? Well, there's this number here, too, and two of them were fucking pick sixes. Jordan Love played decent football. Only 78 yards passing, and it got him a win, though. I mean, come on. Rushing, Aaron Jones did absolutely nothing. Great job by the Big Cotter rushing defense, but... Greg Terry, I mean, fucking shitting me right now. 2.8 yards of carry is not going to cut it. Tawari had a nice day receiving the ball. Mike Farmer, 6 for 50. Greg Terry, 4 catches. Connor Work, 4 catches. Check down Merchant Wallace when he's not throwing picks. Blocking. 4 sacks allowed by this big cutter offensive line. But I don't even want to pin these sacks on these offensive linemen because Wallace would hold the ball for 14 seconds and then take a sack. I mean, these guys had a nice day today, although Austin Cotter's sack was definitely his fault. But the other three, I mean, it's not even their fault. Defense wasn't even on the field much because two pick sixes were thrown. Reed led the team in tackles with six, five for Coley, four Elliott. Bunch of tackles for loss. This defense really did play well, especially against the run. Two for Tawari, two for Coley, two for Elliott, two for Keith, one for Van Ness, one for Troy Williams, one for Rydell, one for Reed. Sacks, one sack. It was Nate Reed, and this big counter defense did not force any turnovers, which I would like to see in week two. Elliott had a nice day too. Made a couple, made a couple long kicks. Week two is coming up. Will be a new QB. We also might get to pick a location for the relocation. Maybe that'll be week three. Uh, we are not going to get to do that. And Dade Pitchford will be back for week two. Jack Youngman started at center in week one, so nice to get our starting center back. Cotter's Patriots from Foxborough in week two. We gotta change the depth chart to make. I don't really think a notes app apology is gonna cut it, Tim, but hey, you might get another chance if Joel ends up sucking. Here we go. Let's let's redeem ourselves, Cotters. Tough road game in Foxborough. And a new lefty QB will be the starter. From one lefty to another, hopefully this one doesn't throw five picks. Facing fucking Cam Newton. If we don't blow this team out by three touchdowns, I'm going to be ashamed of this team. Maybe the game will actually let me pause it this time, too. That would be nice. Let's ride. Cotter offense will start. Beautiful sunny day here in Foxborough, Massachusetts. As there is a flag down, that better not be an illegal block in the back or some bullshit. There will be. Holding on the Cotters on Troy Williams, and now they'll start from the 14. So, tough field position for Joel Salen's first drive, but let's see what he can do. 
He'll look to throw. His first throw is complete to Greg Terry. Gain of 12. And Austin Cotter, glass man himself, is hurt. Just, just leave the fucking game, asshole. Like, we didn't fuck off. We don't need your drama. He probably's faking an injury for attention, too. Like, oh, sure, yeah, sure enough, he's on the sideline. He's not even seriously hurt. Fuck you, Austin. First and ten for the Cotters. Hand off to Terry, and he runs right into the defense again. One yard gain. He is a joke. Rick Rourke might have to start a running back next week. I mean, we're just going to take out all the starters for backups because they suck. Joel looks to throw. He will check it down. That is complete. That's got to be a backup tight end. Who's a number 80? Troy Williams. Third and three. Hand off. Terry is not going to get there. Why are you running right into the defender? You had space, Greg. And the Cotters will punt to no fault of Joel. Cotter Nation, let's ride. Cotter Nation, let's ride. Cotter Nation, let's ride. My God, that is the most retarded voice message I've ever heard in my life. All right, if we don't kick off Cam Newton four times, I'm going to lose my shit. That was such a fluke game in week one. He sucks. No, you don't. You're 18 years old and it's summer. You don't need to go to bed at midnight. Newton to throw, complete. Big time tackle by Lang, but not before a nine yard gain. And look at that, a positive run play. Cotters would know nothing about that. Sony Michelle picks up the first. That's good for the Patriots. First and ten at the 36 yard line. Over there, single receiver. That one knocked away. Right, Allen coverage. Second and ten. Empty backfield for Cam. Got to have a spy on him. And he'll fire a quick slant complete. Marcus came in to make the tackle. Third and two, big time. Play already in this game. Let's get a stop. Another quick throw, another quick completion. Adjustment has to be made defensively as this quick slant offense has given the Cotter defense fits. That's all Newton can throw. He fucking sucks, so make an adjustment. Play heavy press. Now he's got plenty of time to throw, and now he'll run and slide down with a nine-yard gain. I mean, some pressure's got to come. Defense not off to a great start. He'll hand it off. Michelle has a wide open hole. This is not the Cotter defense I saw in week one. That's a 14-yard gain. Longest gain made against the Cotter defense so far in the season. Patriots are driving. And that is blown up. Big time play. Kieran Tawari blows that one up for a loss. Second and 11. Newton hands it off. Nowhere to go. Sony Michelle on the carry. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Brady Lang brings him down behind the line. Two yard loss, third and 13. Need this stop here. Sack would be phenomenal. Cotters rush five. Lang drops back. Now Newton is going to pick it up with his legs. That's just unacceptable. Unfucking acceptable. First and goal, Patriots. 
Cam Newton 15 yard run on 30 13. Watch 98. Watch 98. 98 to Mike. Man out, man out, man out, man out. Blown up there. Joel Salen came blitzing in from out of the backfield. Two yard loss for Sonny Michelle. It's a loss of one. Brings up second and goal at the 10 yard line. Second and goal. Another handoff and another blow up. Troy Williams. Another tackle for loss. There's been plenty of those by this defense. Very rare that you can run on this team, although Michelle did do it a couple times earlier in the drive. Cotters have adjusted. Big third down. Let's hold them to three. Watch Cam Newton's feet right here. Put a spy on him. Jordan Elliott, get in the ball game. He'll throw. He'll complete big time tackle. That's Connor Rourke. Complete to Zach Pascal. Huge tackle there at the five yard at the three yard line. Patriots may go for this. We'll have to see. They are going to bring the field goal unit out. Cotters hold the Patriots to three on that drive. It wasn't a good overall drive for the defense, but the end result is fine. Cotter defense has still yet to allow a real touchdown because I don't count Mickey 12 yard drives as touchdown drives against this defense. They haven't actually allowed a real touchdown drive all year long. Let's see what Salem can do in a second drive. Take a knee. Okay. You better bring this out. All right. A couple extra yards. Tawari's been a good return man so far. And the new QB won. We'll have a second chance. He'll hand off. And the run game continues to be a pathetic joke. Greg Terry, nice outing so far, man. Three rushes for five yards. Good good start after your great, great week one performance. Let's get the ball in your QB's hands. Salem to throw. Complete. Bullets one in there. I think that is Andrew Tyson, maybe? Yes. And that'll take us to the end of the first quarter. 3 nothing Patriots. Cotter offense only had one chance. And the run game fucked them. Long Patriots drive led to three points. We head to the second. Let Joel cook. Fires complete. Tyson again. Seven yard gain. Four for four start for Salen. He's QB1 and CB2, but really CB1 on most nights, depending on what his matchup is. I mean, this guy does it all. Doesn't get any breaks either, except on special teams. Second and two, handoff. Terry bounces off a tackler. There's some actual talent displayed by the 92 overall tailback, Greg Terry, as he bounces off a tackler, picks up the first. Nice run. Quick throw right through the hands of Sam Holvey. I thought that was right on target. And the Cotter wide receiver one can't come up with it. They'll go back to the run game, and there is finally a big-time run. Greg Terry, 10-yard rush, and a first down. Finally, some promise in the run game for the Cotter offense. As this offense already looks 18 times better than when Wallace was controlling it. Five rush, five pass mix so far in 10 plays. Cotter's driving in Pat's territory. Plenty of time to throw and he completes. That is Theo Coley across the field. Inside the 25, Joel Salen is cooking early. Actually, that's Jackson Rydell, sorry. Didn't see the number correctly. Hands off. T 
carry, not much. A couple yards. The running back, again the ball Second and seven. Tackle made at the 21 yard line. A three yard pickup brings up second and seven. Quick throw, complete. Kieran Tawari. Third and two, big play coming up now. Let's not end this drive here. We need six. What will the play call be in third and two? I don't trust this run game enough. Let Joel Cook. Troy Williams in the ball game. Number 84. They will hand it off. Connor Rourke in the ball game. He runs backwards, but at least he got the first down. Great job, EA. First down, Cotters. Connor Rourke's first rush is a successful one. This offense has some rhythm. I like Salen a lot. He has a real chance to be special. Handoff goes nowhere for Terry. Where have we heard Another that sentence before? Oh, maybe like 18 times this year. At the nine yard line. Empty backfield now on second and seven. Let's punch this in. Brings up second and seven. Fires complete. Farmer is in. Touchdown, Big Cotters. There's a new lefty QB in Cotterville, and he's much better than the former one. Nice throw. Farmer is in. Cotter's lead. Extra point is automatic for Elliott. His kick Let's is fucking good. go. 73 yard Makes drive took out five minutes seven. of clock. Patriots three. As the Cotter offense will pose on the sideline. They deserve it. Even though that looked really retarded. Don't tell me the lag's going to come back now. As that is blown up. Shy of the 25. Troy Williams, not just a tight end, also a special teamer. Four forty-three to go in the first half. Hand off to Michelle. Bye bye. Jordan Elliott says no. Another tackle for loss for this defense. They've got to have like 15 combined already on the year. They do not let you run on them. This one had no chance. Salen was also there, but it was Elliott who brought him down. And they're going to run it again. Haven't you learned your fucking lesson, Patriots? Elliott and who the fuck's 48? Keefe. There to bring him down, third and nine. Cam is going to run. Now this is a little bit of a problem, but he comes up short. Number one, Cam Newton on the and the Patriots will punt. Van Ness didn't allow him to get to the line. Jake Bailey in punt Cotter offense will take Bailey. over. Joel Salen will come back out and cook. Three minutes to go in the first half. Broken tackle, Tawari. He'll get eight extra yards. The Jets take over. Cotters have found their mojo offensively, man. Cotter defense are a bunch of fucking dogs. You got that right. Teams try to run on this defense because they know they're not completing a pass on Tosker Salen, the secondary. But the run defense might even be better. Terry with a nice, Number decent little run there, the five yards. The second and five. Yard line. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Salem fires. That was a great throw. Please hold on to that football, Tyson. Tight window throw. It was a bullet right into your hands. Please catch it. Shouldn't be too much to ask for a wide receiver. That is complete. Farmer is there. Couple juke moves inside the 40. Salen has this offense rolling, and Mike Farmer's coming to play. It's a gain of 17 Big third down conversion. I like what I see from this new look offense. Tim Wallace, take a seat on the bench, buddy. Terry, 10 yard gain up the middle will take us to the two minute warning. Even the run game's getting going now. You love to see this. Minute 57. Perfect balance of run and pass so far. 
good game plan for the offensive coordinator. The Cotters and a phenomenal throw there. Right in the bread basket to Tawari on the sideline. Go ahead and review it all you want. He got him in there. He got two feet down. One and two. Oh, fuck, was his toe out of bounds. Please tell me you kept that toe in bounds, Kieran. And the call stands. First and ten from the 14. Pump fake. Fire! Touchdown, Big Cotters! Andrew Tyson is in, and Joel Salen... Have yourself a first half. Cotters lead this one, about to be 14-3. Great route, and Salen found him. Great throw. Too easy. This one's automatic. It's 14-3. Don't even need to see this one. Jordan Elliott is him. 61-yard, minute 15 drive. Nice, Madden. 7 billion minute drive for the Big Cotter offense there. Just awesome graphic work, EA. Let's see if this defense can get the offense one more chance before half. All three timeouts in the back pocket of the Cotters. That return the Patriots take is a pile of horseshit. Let's go, D. How about a turnover? Tosk pick six, question mark? Cam Newton fucking sucks. Someone pick him off, please. He'll look to throw here, and a lot of space right there. Tosk closed quickly. Eight-yard gain will live with that. Newton. Another completion. Nothing much though, laying with the tackle. That's good for the Patriots. And that is thrown and complete on a check down to Michelle. Second and four Patriots have no choice but to call a timeout because Cam Newton can't throw the ball more than six yards. This dog defense keeps getting it done. 54 seconds remain, second and four. Would love a turnover. Quick throw, nothing much you can do there. Patriots aren't going to score much with this offensive style here. Although they can get into field goal range, Cotter defense has to bear down a little bit. What the fuck are you doing, Cam? Second and ten. Thrown to the sideline and incomplete. It's now second and ten. Snap. Newton to throw. He will get sacked. Nate Reed, second sack of the year, third and 17 with 20 seconds. Camel look to run now, he scrambles to his right and another sack, it's Troy Williams. Cotters will burn a timeout, make the Patriots punt, back to back sacks. The dogs are out again. Reed and Williams. Let's see if Tawari has any type of return here. No, sir. Why did I even ask that? He might have lost yards in that return. Probably one handoff, and then we'll take it into the locker room in what is a phenomenal first half here in game two for the Big Cotters. That'll take us into halftime. Terry, 43 yards. Salen, hell of a half. Love to see this bounce back by the Cotters. Love to see it. They'll kick off. Start the second half, bring that defense back out. Well, let's ride. That's the end of the first half with the score Jets 14, Patriots 3. What are we looking at right now? What on earth are we looking at? Nice highlight. Dolphins, Bears. Oh, my goodness. How are you letting Nick Foles beat you right now, Dolphins? I'm going to renounce your fandom of your team. 
Texans beating the Cowboys. We don't give a fuck. Nice game, Dak. Tim Wallace likes stat line right there. Yeah, the Packers are so Mickey. They didn't deserve to win last week. Tim Wallace was playing for them. They had an extra. They had 12 men on the field every time they played defense last week. In reality, they suck. On to the third we go. Cotters will kick off. Those dogs will be back out there. Joel is indeed an elite two-way player. QB corner. Elite at both. The Patriots take over first and ten. At their own Pats will start from the 26. I want someone to pick off Cam Newton so bad. I should do it myself. Throw complete. And the thing is, he doesn't throw any picks because he just checks down to his running backs and tight ends the whole game. Throws six yard outs. No talent loser. First and ten at the 38 yard line. First and ten. Handoff. No. Newton will throw. It should be picked. Pick that ball. How are you going to let that get there? That's good for a Patriot. God damn it. First ben Keefe, please the pick the football off. Line. Patriots just like that in Cotter territory after the completion. Cam, see you later. Brady Lang not letting that happen. It's a sack. Despite him not losing any yardage. Nice, nice job, Madden. Yeah. Not a sack when he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Last time I checked, but I don't know. I mean, you just make up your own fucking rules, EA. Cam, see ya! That's a real sack. Nate Reed is an absolute dog on defense. Second sack today, third on the year. And it's third and 13. Cam to throw. He'll tuck and run again. Bring him down. Cotters will. Troy Williams and Nate Reed combined for that one. Those two have been active all day long. Patriots will punt. A gain of five. It's fourth down. This defense is phenomenal. Good luck scoring on this team. What an ass punt. Out of bounds at the 15, but from where you were, you needed that one inside the five, man. You suck. Ball back in the hands of Joel Salen. Handoff, blown up. I'm sick and tired of that. The ball carried by number 26. The Get creative in the run ball. game because I'm not going to watch Terry run Marquee into a linebacker anymore. Brings up second and eight at the Why are we going back-to-back -back runs when we got Joel Salen on the center? Four, let's pick this up. Joel to throw. Looking. Complete Sam Holvey over the middle. This offense functioning like a well-oiled machine under Joel. 131 yards. That's Holvey's first catch. First down, Jets. Why did it click off? My fault. Joel to throw. Checks it down. Terry, please stay in bounds next time. You lost a fucking yard, you dumbass. This team has negative brain cells half the time. Second and 11. Hand off. There's some space. Connor Rourke gets involved. He'll pick up seven, third and four. Let Joel cook on third down. He'll flip the play. Joel to throw. Pocket collapsing. He completes the Tawari first down. This guy 
is Himothy. H I M O T H Y. Joel Salen. Himothy. Play after play for this offense. First and ten. He'll hand. Terry bounces forward. He fumbled the football. Picked up by Brian Williams. Saves his butt. And it'll be a hold, so the whole play won't matter anyway. Cool. How are you going to hold that wide receiver on an inside run, Sam? What are we doing? First and 17, they'll run it. Terry bounces forward for a gain of about six. Sets up second and 11. A lot of time ticking off, too. Not giving the Patriots much time at all when they do indeed get the ball back. Terry, run forward, you pub motherfucker. The pass complete to number 26. Run fucking forward. What are you fucking doing? You had so much space, too, when you caught this. Look at how much space you have. And you lose, too? We may have to make a change at running back after this weekend. Third and 13. Let's see what Joel's got. Fires towards the sideline. That won't be enough. Cotters will punt. Can't be perfect. Terry set him up for failure. And now Terry will come and punt the football. Great punt. If it gets out of bounds, unbelievable punt. Fuck the drive over, but hey, that makes up for it right there. Inside the one-yard line, you it's, it couldn't be a better punt. Let's get a damn safety and go home. Stack the box, bring everybody to the line of scrimmage. Safety time. Oh, man. Number 26, Sony Michelle. Michelle gets it out of there. Fuck. Taken down at his own seven Second and four. Empty backfield now. How about a sack? Newton throws. Complete. That can't happen. How does he get that much separation up the middle? Come on now. Just like that, Patriots are out to the 27. Damn it, defense. Rare Cotter defense L right there. As Cam steps back, fires, and caught in front of Toss. My fault, y'all. See if the Patriots snap it again before the quarter end. They do. Cam will tuck, run. I mean, I'm, I've been a loss for words with how shit the end game play is at this point. I mean, did anyone else see that? Unbelievable. We're not going to complain, though. On to the fourth we go. 14-3 Cotters. Nice bounce back week. They got nine minutes to close it out. Second and nine for Cam and the Pats. Maybe throw the ball, you retard. We're not going to complain, though. Ben Keefe gets in there with the three-yard sack. Five sacks today for the Cotter D. The dogs are out. Third and 12, a stop here would go a long way to sealing a victory. Oh, my. Pick that ball, please. Nice tackle by Brady Lang there to force it out. And the Patriots will punt again. This defense is a sight to behold. And that punt is shit. Actually, not as shit as I thought when he first kicked it, but still not great. Cotters will start from the 20. Let's milk some clock. Handoff. Terry will get four. The clock will tick. 
He was taken down at the 22-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. And off. Terry gets one. Buckle Tech, 15 for 60 is not great, but an improvement from last week for Greg. Joel looking to throw on third, and he throws a pick. That one is going to hurt real bad. That one hurts real bad. Stefan Gilmore with a pick and sets the pass up at the 22. Last thing the Cotters needed. Everything was going right for Joel until that shit throw. Gilmore read that thing like a book. My goodness. Defense going to have to come to play yet again. I trust this defense. Pick up your QB. He's had a really nice day overall. Bad mistake. Let's pick him up. Big tackle, Keith. Second and five. Hand off. Michelle spin move inside the ten. It'll be first and goal from the nine for the Patriots. God damn it, that pick is the last thing we needed. Touchdown here is really going to kill us. Can the defense hold them to three? Hand off. Blown up by Benjamin Keith for a loss of a yard. Another tackle for loss for this Cotter D. Ben Keith is having himself an afternoon. Second and goal at the 10 yard line. They'll hand it off again. Michelle gets some space down to the five. Brought down by Jackson Rydell. And it's third and goal. Huge play. Get this stop, dogs. Third and goal from the five. Throw is picked off. Rick Rourke picks it off. And that may just do it here from Foxborough, Massachusetts. Humongous pick by Rick Rourke. The throw wasn't even that bad. Great play. And the Cotters will take over at the 25. Connor Rourke interception. The first turnover forced by the Cotter D this year. Humongous play to pick up his QB. As Joel fires on first down, complete to Mike Farmer. Bockle run, gain of nine. Beautiful play. A gain of nine brings up second and one at the 29 that one yard line. Terry first down, more clock. Cotter's looking to run out this one. The running back on the and what would be a phenomenal bounce back win the on the road line. after that tough week one loss. On the play. As they'll first milk down, some clock New here, York. I'm not even going to complain about how shit that run attempt was because our the goal is to run some clock. But Jesus Christ. He was taken down behind the line of scrimmage. Second and eleven. Of a yard. Brings up second and eleven. Empty backfield now looking line. to throw is Joel. What's he got in him? A little crosser to Tyson. Complete. Nice play. Third and five. More clock runs. Approaching three minutes. They spread him out. Joel. Time complete first down to Wari. And the finishing touches are being put on this one. The pick was dog. The pick was dog shit. But the rest of the day for Joel has been really good. He'll get the start again in week three. He's made some big time throws. Calm in the pocket. And 14 is more than plenty with this defense. One on the play clock. Terry with a nice little run. His overall numbers on the Another day won't be horrendous. 16 for 69. Nice job. Nice. <laughs> and a little as well. Up Two minute warning. Three. Patriots not even bothering to call those TOs. As the Cotters are in Patriot territory. A couple more run plays. Let's get this over with. Terry, first down. Barrels through for a couple more. Patriots will start using their timeouts, but it's going to be in vain. Not quite kneel time yet, but one more first down will send it there. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. Here I come. 
carry. Whole seven yards. Timeout Patriots. Second and four. 150 to play. Handoff. Terry. First down and more. Down to the 21. And that'll be your ball game here from Foxborough. The Big Cotters go on the road, hold the Patriots to just three points on the afternoon, and bounce back in a big way from their week one loss. 14 3 is going to be your final as Joel Salen takes a knee. He was really solid today. One bad mistake late, but his defense, Connor Rourke especially, picked him up. Other than that, two touchdown day, about 160 plus yards. Efficient outing as they'll hand it off again. Stat pad it, Terry, inside the 10. The back, Over 100 the yards on the day for Greg Terry. On the late tackle. in this ball game, found some First success goal, finally Jets. in the run game as well. And now they'll go back to taking a knee. Love that 100 yard stat pad. That is brilliant coaching by this Cotter team. Anytime you can stat pad, you got to take advantage. That is officially your ball game here. Big Cotters win. Big Cotters win. 14-3 the final. Joel Salen steps in, does a nice job. Greg Terry, 109-yard day. And the defense has 11 dogs. Three points the Patriots held to on the afternoon. Phenomenal performance by the Big Cotter defense. Stuff in the run game all day. Couple long runs by Cam Newton, but other than that, they stuffed him too. Just 111 passing yards all day for the Patriots. Big win for the Cotters. They moved to one and one on the season. Let's check some numbers. It's Joel Salen, 18 to 21, 161 yards, 85 percent completion, two TDs, one bad pick, but you'll live with it with the rest of the day he gave you. Almost five yards of carry by the end of the day for Terry, 22 for 109. Rourke had a couple nice little runs mixed in there as well. Akiran Tawari leads the team in catches for the second straight week, 36 yards. Tyson, 40 yards on four catches, 35 on three catches for Farmer. Hovey's got to get more involved offensively. As no big cutter offensive lineman allowed a sack. That's what happens when your QB actually gets rid of the football, unlike number 12. Defensively, what a day it was. A committee effort. Look at all the look at these tackling numbers. It was a committee effort defensively. Bunch of tackles for loss. Keith, Elliott, Williams, Salen, Reed, Tawari, Lang, all had tackles for loss in this football game. Bunch of sacks as well. Two for Reed, one for Keith, one for Williams, one for Lang. And a pick for Connor Rourke, which really helped seal this game after. Joel Salen had thrown the interception. That was a massive interception to get back by Rourke. And the Big Cotters win it. We'll see if it gives us a, a chance to decide where we're relocating to. And if it doesn't, that'll be all for tonight. One and one evening for the Big Cotters. We'll take it as Greg Terry, the punter version, gets an upgrade. And he deserves it after that miraculous punt he had. One of the best I've seen. Please give us a chance to relocate. It doesn't. It does give us a chance to re-sign two players, though. As Greg Terry, let's get him re-signed. Five years, 40 mil. Fuck off, man. Do you remember how you played in week one? Now, Joel Sale in the corner. Yeah, this guy's getting a payday. Why are we offering him one year? Five years, 78 mil for our CB. Yes, that's how you negotiate, you ass. Take some fucking notes, Greg. See you tomorrow night, Cotter fans. Another primetime game in Houston against the Rapist.